Hello, this is Joe Angelo with Lyman Products. Today I'm going to show you different case tumbling and case cleaning methods and discuss the pros and cons of each and with some helpful tips to make your tumbling and case cleaning go more smoothly. Case preparation is an important part of the reloading process and tumbling or cleaning of your fired brass is a crucial step. The tumbling or cleaning of cases removes any contaminants and fouling from the outside and inside of the cases, including flash holes and primer pockets. Having cases clean will help with the seating primers to a consistent depth, allowing cases to be sized easier, protect your reloading dies from scratches, and aid in the proper cycling of your reloads and firearms. The first method we will look at is vibratory tumbling. This is a dry process and the most popular and inexpensive method. Vibratory tumblers come in many options and sizes. Wyman offers everything from our small 600 tumbler to our largest 2500 tumbler, so there is a tumbler to fit the need of most reloaders. Vibratory tumblers use dry media either consisting of corn cob or nutshell, such as walnut or pecan. The dry media usually has a polishing agent mixed in, but also can be found untreated. One thing to consider when choosing a type of media is whether you want to clean and polish your cases or just clean them. Using an untreated corn cob will clean your brass, but you will not see that bright shine of factory new cases. Using a treated media will clean your brass and polish at the same time. There are different processes for tumbling also. You can decap and size, then tumble, and this will give you the best results in the primer pocket area and flash hole. But the media can become lodged in the flash hole and will have to be removed. You can also tumble prior to decapping and sizing. This will cut down on media lodging, but you will have to clean your primer pockets and flash holes separately. The average tumbling time is two to three hours. This is the cleanest method. Cleanup is easy. Media and cases can be separated easily with the use of a media separator. This method is the most inexpensive. This is also the most common method. Some cons to this method of tumbling are media lodging, bits of media getting stuck in the flash holes and primer pockets. If the cases are sized and decapped prior to tumbling, media will have to be removed by hand, adding to your process time. Media will wear out over time. Users will see diminished cleaning performance. Media will have to be replaced periodically. Additives can be mixed in to worn out media to refresh it and extend its life cycle. Very dirty brass or brass that has been stored for extended periods of time that has tarnished will be more difficult to clean. Users may have to extend their tumbling times in media selection to get the desired cleanliness of the brass. A helpful tip with vibratory tumbling, start small. Keep your case count low when you first start. This will allow you to gauge how well your tumbler and media are performing. You can add cases to increase your working load number as you go along. Another method of tumbling or cleaning your cases is rotary tumbling. Rotary tumbling uses a drum style barrel that is spun. Stainless steel media, cleaning solution, and water are used for this tumbling method. The advantages to this method of tumbling are short cycle times, brass can usually be cleaned in half the time of a vibratory tumbler, media does not wear out, no media lodging, media flows through primer pockets and flash holes, this method cleans the inside of the case more aggressively than vibratory tumbling, the tumbler can be used for other applications such as cleaning rust or contamination from small metal parts or tools. Some disadvantages to this method of tumbling. Equipment and cleaning solutions are more expensive. It is a wet process. Cleanup can be messy. Cases will need to be dried. A case dryer would be an added cost. Ultrasonic cleaning. This method uses ultrasonic frequency, heat, water, and specially formulated cleaning solutions. Some advantages to ultrasonic cleaning. No media is needed for this method. There is no media lodging. The ultrasonic machines can be used to clean your firearms and parts. 
This method will clean primer pockets and flash hole areas. Some disadvantages to ultrasonic cleaning. It is a wet process. Cases will need to be dried after cleaning. Units and cleaning solution can be expensive. Case capacity is lower than vibratory or rotary tumbling. Some helpful tips for ultrasonic cleaning. Start small with your case count to gauge the performance of the machine and the solution mix ratio. Using distilled water will increase your cleaning performance due to the lack of minerals in the distilled water that can reduce the ultrasonic frequency's ability to penetrate. The average cleaning time for ultrasonic cleaning is 45 minutes to one hour. Thank you, and I hope everyone found the information in this video useful. For more information on the products discussed in this video, please visit us at LimanProducts.com.